Hey guys, it's Holly from Chic Antique. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a beginner tutorial using Dixie Bell's Chalk Mineral Paint. We're going to be modernizing some end tables. So if you're excited for this video and you enjoy it while you're watching, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and let's get started. Here's what we're going to be working on today. They're two large end tables. You can see they're in pretty rough shape. Um, the tops are pretty beat up, but the rest are in pretty good condition. You can see here in this close-up uh, the condition of the tops here. These were pretty wobbly when I picked them up, so a good solution um, is to tighten all of the screws. So I am using an Allen wrench to tighten all of the screws in the bottom and then as well as the top. So next we're going to be cleaning these. I'm going to be using Dixie Bell's White Lightning Cleaner using some warm water and just a little bit of the cleaner to wipe these down and get them all clean. And here I'm using a toothbrush just to get in the corners and the cracks that I can't reach um, with a rag. And you can see here how dirty they are. You can see here how dirty the water is after using white lightning. After that, you want to use clean, clear water to wipe off the white lightning to prepare it for paint. Next, I'm going to be smoothing down the tops, so I'm going to start with 80 grit sandpaper and just go all along the top here. We're just going to speed up the process here. Next, I'm taking 180 grit sandpaper to continue smoothing out the tops. Next, I'm going to be going over the rest of the piece with a 220 grit sandpaper on a sandy block just to scuff up the surface so that the paint has something to adhere to. And then I'm using the 220 grit sandpaper on the tops as well. After all the sanding, you want to remove the dust, so I'm using a tack cloth to do that. And then in the corners, I'm using a synthetic brush to remove the dust in those areas as well. And for this project, we're going to be using Dixie Bell's Chalk Mineral Paint in the color Caviar, which is their black color. And we're going to start on the tops and paint these using long strokes. So I'll get the paint on there and then smooth it out with a long stroke back and forth. For this, I'm using Annie Sloan's Natural Hair Bristle Brush. The bristles are packed pretty tightly, so it's easier to get full coverage with this brush as you can see here. And then we're gonna keep painting the rest of the piece, starting from the top and going down.
here is how it looks with one coat of the paint when it's dry. You can see here how good the coverage is. This is only one coat here, guys, so I'm only gonna need two coats to cover this entire piece. So we're gonna be starting on the second coat here. Again, starting on the top, using long sweeping strokes to prevent brush strokes. And another thing that's nice about Dixie Belle's paint is it's self-leveling, so um, the streaks will level out as it dries. And then we're just going to continue that second coat on the rest of the piece here. If you feel like your paint is thickening up or leaving um, a lot of brush strokes, you can also spray your brush uh, with a spray bottle full of water. Um, that's why I have this spray bottle here, you can see. Um, it just helps the paint glide on more smoothly since it's a water-based paint. And here's how the second coat looks. It's not dry yet, but you can see how smooth it looks as it's drying. And finally, we're going to be sealing the piece. We're going to be using Dixie Belle's clear coat in a satin finish. I'm going to be applying this with the synthetic brush, just getting it on there and then smoothing it out from side to side. And it kind of has a little bit of a bluish white tint to it. That's just so that you can see where it's going and where you've applied it. But it does dry crystal clear and without brush strokes, which I love. And here's a close up of how much clear coat I have on my brush. I clean off the left side and then clean off the bottom so it doesn't drip. And here is a close up of me doing one of the legs um, in real time, not sped up. And then we're just gonna continue that process on the entire piece. And I do two coats of clear coat on this.
So just to remind you, this is what we started with. And here's how they look now. So I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, make sure to check out my next video linked. It's how to stay in a nightstand. It is a tutorial for beginners. So I will have that linked at the end of this video and in the description. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. That's probably good. Yeah, I just wanted to showcase how crappy they look. This is gross. Yeah, you're not putting that in. Um, wait, so 2007, that means either 13 years old? Right? 14? It's just funny because the days I have my hair down, I have to like... Mm -hmm. The cars and coffee that I did. Did you drop paint on the shelf? Hmm? Did you drop paint on the shelf?